guys vaping Ryan over here welcome to my channel and today we are gonna take a look at the VLS the VLS is by Omir Omir are the folks that bought you the wasp nano of course undoubtedly one of the best little horizontal single coil RDAs beautiful flavor banger I mean it's got to be the number one uh, for as far as flavor goes in my opinion and I'm sure that most would probably agree with that. But before we get ahead of this little game right over here, Justin from Jay's Vape sent me this shirt. I'm fucking wearing it with pride. Thank you, Justin. I love it. And if you guys are watching, uh, go take a look at Justin's uh, channel. It's Jay's Vapes. And uh, he does a lot of uh, juice reviews. And uh, most of my suggestions come from him. And he's an awesome guy. And... Uh, including also Mark, he does a lot of juice reviews too. He's a simple vapor. Uh, these guys, I, I get a lot of my uh, suggestions of juices from them. So go check them out, guys. But anyway, Jays, I'm wearing it. Thank you. But back to the VLS. The VLS, again, is uh, made by the company Omir. And uh, as you can see it behind me, I don't know if you can see that really good, but it comes in a black. And the black is a, kind of like a, a glossy black, like an enamel. Uh, then it has uh, your regular Ultim and then your PEI, uh, the PEI, and then your PEI, okay? And the cool thing about this, and I'm going to show you this up in, uh, in the up-close pictures when we take it down to the table, is that you can do a single coil horizontal, a dual stacked coil horizontal, one up, one down, not side by side. This is different, guys. It's pretty innovative. Then you can do a single uh, vertical coil, and you can do a dual vertical coil. Now with the single vertical coil, you can center it right in the middle, which you will utilize the airflow ports. And on the dual, here, like, sure, let me just turn around this way. On the dual vertical coil, you can spread these guys out away from the airflow channel and switch your cap around where the airflow would hit the coils on the side directly. So it's pretty interesting, but I'll show you that when we get down on uh, on the map so but anyway let me just take this guy out of here this is a brand new box here's a wrapper from it i just opened it up so i haven't even put a build in here this is like a little brand spanking new and here is this little guy right there okay let me show you let me clear it up but you'll get to see some close-up pictures but anyway so let's take this guy down Let's take a really quick, quick look at it and I'll try to as quickly as I can because I know some of these videos get pretty lengthy but you know there are builds and uh, you know for the new vapors out there uh, that want to learn how to uh, build a coil, wick a you know, coil and in this case we'll get to learn how to do another vertical build as I did in my 502 by Jay Hayes okay so which is a very very hard uh, um, you know little rda to build on so i wouldn't suggest that for any uh beginners because it, it is pretty tedious but anyways okay but this one is a lot simpler it appears to be a lot simpler so we're going to take it down really quick and um do a couple of builds on here i'll do one vertical and one uh, horizontal just so you can get familiarized with it and then we'll uh, wick it and take it up for a vape and let's see if she is as good as the wasp nano or better or or not who knows but they are two different things you know one is like a a single coil only horizontal and this is more of an rda um but dual i mean yeah you could run it in single so it will be kind of interesting to see and there's also a little pretty interesting thing about the bottom deck that i like to show you when we go down on the bottom anyway guys Let's not take this any longer. I'll see you guys on the bottom. Here we are, guys. The VLS. Okay, so at the very top, we got this nice little iridescent thing going on. Hey, look at that. Like, it looks like a little Superman symbol right there to me. It says Omir on the top. This, I know, though, it is uh, silver, but it does signify that it is the clear uh, cap on this. Omir on one side, you got the little scratch and check. Okay, you have your uh, QR symbol over here, a little uh, uh, UPC code with some kind of a, 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 I guess, a correspondent code with it. 
and your little scratch and check right there on the bottom and some little uh, sites on your official and on your Facebook and then this says the VLS RDA I do not know what the VLS stands for so I, I apologize for that on the back it's gonna say Omir a little bit about the company and it says uh, it gives you a little information of who it's suited for I do a little right there so you can take a little freeze frame and then on the bottom it's gonna have your certification symbols and also your precaution symbols okay so let's open this little baby up and there she is this is the Omier RDA, okay? So, got a little velvet uh, going on over here, a little spongy velvet going on. And on the bottom, it's going to have a quick uh, reference guide that's going to tell you a little bit about how it's done. And the reverse is the same thing, but in a different language. Okay? So, but this is what I really wanted to show you. I don't know if, because if you saw it good on the, on the TV behind me, but here it is, okay? So basically, here it is. Your first one is going to be your, uh, let me just get my little pointer right here. So your first one is going to be this right here. You see that? That's going to be a single horizontal coil. Okay. And then here is the stacked horizontal coils. You could put one on the bottom, one on the top. And once I show you the deck, you'll see how that goes. Okay. And then for your uh, vertical build, you can either... Uh, Place this right in the center, and then you'll see it'll get the airflow from the side posts, and you'll see the side posts. Or you can place this uh, side by side, and you can just spread them out by leaving a little space in the center, but then you turn the cap, and the airflow would come from the side right here through this way. Okay? And I kind of show you that. Uh, and it just will give you a little brief description about it. So here it is. You're stacked right here. Okay, so airflow is going through the side, and then here's your, uh, where are the verticals? Right here are the verticals, so you would turn your cap around where your airflow cap, this would, this would be blocked off by the cap, and then your, uh, your airflow would go to the side of the coil. But there is a really, really interesting thing about this and what the deck does. So, along with this, they do send you a little cotton right over here. Now, and the very the very first ones that were released there were from that Angora Rabbit cotton, which didn't really, uh, you know, was not a, not everyone was not a very big fan about it, I should say. So I guess they just went blank right now, and they just have their own. I don't know whose cotton is this. Doesn't matter. But you know, listen, they give you a little bit of cotton, okay? And then you get the little bag. You get your little tri tool, okay? So you have your uh, flat head on one side, okay? You're going to have your Phillips on the one side, and then you're going to have another flathead on the other side. And I just dropped a screw. Okay. So you do get a... Uh, let's just take this out. All right. So let's just put all this right here on the floor, right here. So you do get... Let me just clear that in. Okay. So you do get a couple of really nice coils right here. All right, I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So you get these nice coils. Okay, they're five wraps. You get a set of those. You do get some grub screws. So you get a set that are short and a set that are long. Right here. You see those? So you have a set that are long and a set that are short. And you'll see why when we take this deck off. So, and here is your RDA right here. Okay. So this is the PEI. Okay. It is a 510, so and it does have a, a little insulator right there on the inside, so you could use your own 510 uh, caps on here. So I'll just get one, all right. So you can do that. All right, let's get a longy. Let's see if this long one would work. Oh, this one's a little tight. Damn, my steering knights is not fit on some of my mods, and I'm pissed off because I really love this cap. But anyway. Let's see if this, well, we have this Ultim on here, white bore Ultim is a little tight. See, it's not going down. All right, so there we go, double cover. Actually, that looks really nice, but I wish that was uh, the Ultim color. And you also will try this nice little colorful one right there. All right, so it's kind of compatible with uh, some, I wouldn't say all, but with some of uh, your A10s right there. 
Okay. But anyway, moving along. So let's put the original cap back on. That's the original one right here. And here is your top cap. It is all uh, PE, PEI. Okay, and just I want to kind of show you this. If you look really closely, let me just get, let me clear that up. All right, so if you look really closely, these airports, look at that. They're on an angle. You see? So I want to show you that. You see? So all of these uh, airflows are on an angle and they shoot straight down on the coil. So there you go. There's that angle of that. And it's the same on the other side, obviously. Okay? So there's that little angle right there. You can see it coming in right there on an angle. All right? And the corresponding holes that are on the RDA are also on an angle. So that would shoot straight down on, you know, you, go, you want to try to catch the bottom half of the coil because then it would just suck right up, okay? So beautiful, nice clean deck right there. There's your 510 pin. Now it does come with a little uh, squonk pin right here. It is kind of tiny, little squonk pin. It's not really wide bore, so you know, I guess you win some, you lose some, you know. This pin does, it does look a little fragile. It's not beefy by any means, but you know, listen, it is what it is. We'll try it out. Okay, so you do have a dual uh, O-ring right over here. All right, and here's the kicker. Okay, a beautiful, nice 510 pin right there. Okay, and it is protruding. So this can be used on a mech mod. Okay, and on the very back, right here, it's going to say VLS, some more certification symbols, and it's going to say designed and manufactured by Omier. Okay, and then it has a little uh, model number, or so, I guess some kind of like a production number right there. Cool. Here's the cool thing about the deck now. Okay, so. And this is a, you just want to give it a nice, a nice tall post right there. Beautiful deck. And this almost reminds me of this little round part right here. Kind of reminds me of the Revere. Almost, kind of. Where the Revere had the long post and then it had the really short post. And you can put the vertical coil single right over here. So just kind of, just reminded me of that at a very quick glance. And as you can see, that is separated. So that is going to be your uh, positive post right there. And here is part of the deck, but there is a little peak insulator right there. And I'm going to show you, this is really, really cool. So this post is being separated by the peak insulator. And this post is right on the deck, but it still can be removed. Both of these posts can be removed, by the way. So uh, counterclockwise. So in order to unscrew this, you actually would have to go clockwise to unscrew it and counterclockwise to screw it. So it's the opposite. It's called a left-hand screw. All right, and I've seen a lot of these reviewers, which really surprised me. They uh, mentioned that you have to take the 510 pin off in order to take the bottom deck, and you really don't. It just unscrews off. Okay, so you will go again clockwise, and the whole deck comes off with the pin on. You do not need to remove the pin, and that will hold this plate. Now, I will take the pin off to show you uh, how this thing works. Okay, let me just grab my regular screwdriver. Those little tri tools are really not the best. All right, so I'm taking that pin off, and when you do that, here is you're going to get this plate, and then you're going to get your peak insulator right here. Okay, so that separates the positive from the negative, but it reverses the polarity on the inside, so the negative becomes positive and the positive becomes negative. So basically, this screw that has an insulator on it is actually the negative and this screw is the positive so it's kind of like it's a little hard to understand but anyway it just once it goes through the uh, goes through the 510 pin it reverses due to the discs and when you when you screw this deck back on by having that peak insulator there and this metal disc on there that screw that is p slightly protruding you see it and this one isn't so this slightly protruding screw is going to touch that metal plate 
thus touching the negative side of the of the thing and the positive side is going to go run right through the screw and touch the inside of the deck and um, and that would be your positive side okay so your positive side is going to be uh, insulated and then your negative side is going to remain negative on the outside of the deck it's kind of a little hard to understand but anyway so now you're wondering why is this deck removable and well that's because when you put your vertical coils in, as you can see, so if you would stack these vertical coils like this, okay, now they're going to be so much easier to wick because you can pull the wick on the bottom. As you know, in the 502, when you put the coils vertical, now this is probably going to be junky in there, but anyway, so when you put your coils vertical, the bottom, you'd have to like take your little tweezers and kind of pull it out from the bottom because it's touching the deck on the bottom. And it's a pain in the ass. So, anyways, um, so I got to give them that. All right. So, so now they opened up this bottom of the deck like that. So now you can pull the cotton when you're doing vertical builds, which just makes it so much easier. But anyway, so let's put this back. So we're going to put our peak insulator back. We're going to put our metal disc back, and it doesn't matter which way which way it goes. Okay, we are going to take our uh, uh, 510. No, I'm not going to put the squonker in there, although I would like to, but I'm not in a mood to set up a squonker right now, to be honest with you. All right. Screw that 510. Okay, so we got that in place. So now here's the build. So if you want to put your vertical coil, so now you can see right here, all right? So you have these two bottom posts. One is a connection right there, and as if you turn it around, it's going to have the same exact on the opposite side. So you have this lower one. And then you have the two posts on top, okay? So you build your vertical, uh, excuse me, your horizontal coil, one on the bottom and one stacked right above it. So it would be something like this. Okay, so you'd put the the top one right in there. All right. You'd put your top one right in there. And then you put your bottom one right in there. Basically. I mean, my ports are not opened, so I should do that. Okay, so you'd open up that port all the way. Open up that port all the way. Open up that port all the way. And open up that port all the way. Okay. And that is also the reason why they give you the two long grub screws and the two short grub screws. Because the short ones go on the top and the long ones go vertical right there to go down that whole post. All right. So if you're putting them in horizontal, so you would kind of get your coil. Okay, you kind of, all right, and you go right there on the bottom. So there's your first coil, okay? So there you go, see, you have your coil right there and your coil right there. And you would, you know, you keep that centered as good as you can. See, I like to hold it like that. And then you start screwing down and around. You don't have to go screw down crazy. You just want to hold it and then you can still maneuver it, all right? And if you're happy with that, then you'd finish it off. All right, so right there. Let's pull. Let's pull that out. Yeah, there we go. See. And okay, so I don't tighten it all the way. So, and basically, so there would be that first one right there. Okay, and then that will give you the the opportunity to tug it a little bit down, just like that. Okay, all right, just like that. See, and then you kind of straighten them out. There you go. See, now let's set that second coil. Okay, so then you take your second coil. Okay, you place it, and you kind of want to. You kind of gonna you, you kind of want to hold the leads down 
because well, they, they are going to tend to want to slip out and don't worry about the coils touching each other so you want to just kind of hold that lead down and yeah it will twist on you because it's a flat coil all right but no worries you just take it kind of guide it right there all right and then slip that other one in all right and tighten that one right there and one more so now even though they're touching now you do a little bit of the adjustment so you just take this one you kind of want to pull that up a little bit all right and as long as you're not going above the deck you should be good take that one you want to oh, press it a little bit down whammo look at now all that space that you have okay and you still have that angle of the see if i put my my you see that it's touching that bottom half of the coil you are good as gold right there okay right there so that would be your horizontal dual stacked coil okay and of course you would take your snips and trim all the end but before you do that make sure you tighten all your screws down the reason why i'm not doing that right now is because i just want to quickly show you the vertical build so now to do your vertical builds you have to utilize one of the bottom posts and one of the top posts okay so what you're going to want to do is you take your coil and you're going to flap it right there on the top and then the other one you slip it right on the bottom and there is your basically your vertical build you want to center that coil and what you want to do is you take the one side and tighten it and it's usually the top side take your top side and tighten it and here is a little trick that I've learned let me see if I can find that pen okay so what I what I like to do with these all right let me just get this so I'm just gonna get a smaller rod because I want to show you how to tighten these these coils I'm gonna use one of these rods right there and you're gonna hold that if you hold that rod after you gave it a nice little tug that would tighten all the wraps on there just like that you want to just bring it back just a little bit okay take your screwdriver and, and tighten down on that screw right there and oh look at that that's a nice tight tight wrap okay it was so tight the, the rod wouldn't even come out okay I had to like literally wiggle it out of there but let me just set the rod in here give me one second okay so what I do is you can this is an interchangeable rod I can set it right in here all right I'll put the rest of my rods back in the bottom it's got a little compartment right in there out okay so now I can there you go so now I can take this and I want to bring it out as much as I can okay and all right so repeat the process on the other side do a little tugging right there tighten up that wrap Okay, there we go. Straighten out that coil. And again, see on the bottom, just bring it over till it hits that side, see? So you know that coil, make sure it's centered. Let's, let me just, all right. So you just make sure it's nice and centered. Once you got, see, you could just twist it and it'll move to the left and right. So once you know it's centered, you just kind of ease it out of there nice. Ease it out, don't pull too hard, you will open up your coils, okay? And now you'd have that, you see? Okay? And that's basically what you wanna end up with. Right there. So if you need to adjust it a little bit, you just take that, all right. 
and you just want to make sure that you're just you're nice and straight okay that's a beautiful thing okay all right so <clears throat> once you have those in just check all of your screws that they're nice and tight okay check this one and check this one all right so all that's left is the cotton now all right and you know what we're going to use it we're going to use their cotton we're going to see what this is all about you know kind of soft actually All right, so take a nice little piece of cotton right here and so when you're doing vertical like that, so here it is. So, and here's the cool thing about that bottom removable deck. So you got it in there like that. So now here's where that part comes in, see? You can pull it right through. This makes it so, so much easier. And then you would take your scissors and you kind of want to stay just above that top of the deck right there. Okay, so you just want to go just a little bit above there. But so that would be, so you kind of make the, these little pom poms. All right, you can take that same piece. All right, and thread it right through the other coil. Okay, take some kind of a tweezer. I'm sorry, let's get to end. So I'm just gonna go reach right on the bottom of the deck and pull, pull. Oh, I pulled the other one out. All right, right there. And let's reinsert this one in again. All right. Okay. And you got and you and that's it right there. Okay. What you want to do with these, you just fluff them up a little bit. Okay. You want to cut the, the very, very just the tips. Nothing else. Just the tips because I kind of spun it with my fingers. Alright, fluff those up and then just leave them right in there just like that. See? Nice and fluffy. Don't make anything uh hard or make them stiff just leave them nice and fluffy and pack them in nice and gentle okay so remember now you screw to the left to screw it in okay and there you go so after you've done all that and you've cleared everything now you go and snip everything get as close as possible just watch your eyes when you're doing this okay nice clean you want to rub your finger right there and if you can't feel the coil you've done a good job right there so just get really close okay just like that really close okay use the back part of the uh, of your little snips right here you get really close right there same thing you see you use the back part of the snips right there okay and snip just I like to always put my finger in front of the coil and that's way it doesn't fling anywhere we are done guys so what we're going to do is we're going to juice this baby up and then uh give it a little toke all right what's going on guys so we're back on top so that, that was one pretty interesting little uh little deck and little build so you know yeah it was a little lengthy but you know what listen it had they were horizontal and a vertical build so you kind of got to see the best of both worlds so as i was you know screwing this so usually if you have this open without the cap you want to screw this on but if you go too hard you're going to unscrew it from the base 
it's kind of hard to understand because of that reverse uh, screw thread that's on the bottom so you want to make sure that you have your cap on and see it'll just even though you're trying to screw it it'll keep screwing because it'll unscrew from the base so before you put this um, this RD8 this Alright, you want to make sure that you kind of put that on nice and tight, okay? So, screw your thing, uh, your RDA on, and there we go. And we ended up with a 0.21 build. Now, I know that on the video on the table, you saw me wicking it and you didn't see me pulse the coils. I did, uh, I, I was aware of that, but as you can see, they did post, I, I will post some pictures up. I got some really beautiful blues out of this coils. And this is really nice coils, really nice. I'm very super happy with them. So let's get on, let's get on. What kind of juice should we put in there? Tell you what. Ooh, let's go with a juice that I am familiar with. I don't know, lemon twist or vami pour. Well, you know what? Let's go with the Vami pour because you should not. This is actually great that this happened. You should never put a citric, citrus juice in a old, uh, in a PI a PEI uh, cap because it will break it down. So there we go. Decision made. Yami pour. I know what this stuff is supposed to taste like. Get a little shake. All right, all right, all right, all right. A little juice on there. Oh, look at that. Okay, kind of floats right on top. Okay, want to go on the side. Okay. All right. And you get this. has got a really deep deck, a really deep well. Excuse me, sir. Don't be afraid to pour this juice on there and always pulse. Remember what I told you about pulsing? Just pulse. Get, heat up that juice and it'll help it soak right in. It smells so good. So, where's my little? Where's my little guy? All right. So, what we're gonna want to do? Get some. Oh, uh, yeah. Let those guys out. So, here it is. So, now that you want to put your cap back on. So, obviously, you see the little holes right there. Okay. So, you'd put your and you'd line up with that holes. See, and there will be so you have these five holes right here, as you can see. Let's see, hopefully that zoomed in. So that would be ideal in a horizontal build, single or dual. But in a vertical build, since your coils are right there, and you see all that air that's right there in the middle, you're gonna want this airflow right there, right there. Yes, you would close those off, and then have that airflow go right on each of the vertical coil. So that's pretty interesting. So we have it at 40 watts. We're gonna pick that up a little bit, so. All right, let's take a talk at 40 watts first. Not bad at all, not bad at all. That's at 40 watts. Let's pick it up. I'm gonna go to 65 watts. Okay, so that's 65 watts. Ooh. 
Oh my God, that's a nice flavor right there. Woo! This yummy pour hasn't tasted any better. Excellent, 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 excellent. You know what? Usually companies, when they come out with this really super awesome RDA, like the Wasp Banana, it never happens that they follow with a second just as good. Now, the popularity on this, I haven't seen this widely out like I did the Wasp Banana. I mean, you know, even years later after the Wasp Banana uh, did its debut, it is still, still sold by the thousands today. And I have not seen this with this. Don't ask me why, because this is producing some excellent, excellent flavor. Fucking beautiful clouds. Awesome flavor. Really nice, um, really nice flow. I mean, it's smooth. I mean, you can see it's not super loud. And this is not getting super hot. I mean, and those coils are right there. So let's just juice them up a little bit again. See that? So you're gonna get this flow. I don't know if you can see this. right out of the sides of the coil so and you have this airflow that when you're taking your little tube it's gonna take all that's coming out of the coils and the airflow coming in it's gonna grab all that flavor and just take it right up on top you know and uh, it is creating a really awesome flavor super airflow so but I do want to do this let's put the airflow on the holes themselves and let's see what kind of flavor we get or if we get the same amount of uh, vape and everything I am still getting a good vape and good flavor you know what there is really not that much of a difference to be honest with you let me try it back on the side the only thing I could say is it it's slightly slightly hotter vape that's about it that's about it Posts. Yeah, I would say that's about it. If you put the the airflow on the side, right on the coil, you're just gonna get a slightly hotter vape. If you put them on the post, the vape is just a little bit cooler, but the flavor is still the same. It's still an awesome flavor, and the vape is still the same. It's an awesome flavor. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. This is the Vape and Rhino. Please consider sub subscribing to my channel. And today we have the VLS Omier on the Creative Mod by Vapesig. Catch you on my next review.